Okay, quick demo of Swiper. First, I wanted to show my source control preferences. I don't use binary DXL, and I enable automatic export and import. Um, I've set this NSF uh, this NSF up for source control, so it's got an associated on disk project, and uh, we can have a look at that one in source tree here. And we're just going to look at this main view um, and how it is affected by this source control operation. So first, unfiltered uh, with no swiper, we can see it's got things like created, modified, revised, last access dates. Um, so this is the view we're talking about here, main view. So if I commit this first version, um, unfiltered, and then if we were to make a change, uh, say adding a column, uh, ideally we would just see the new column as the change, but if we have a look at how it usually goes, there's a uh, new sequence number, there's new modified times, our new column is there which is great, um, but these changes at the top are going to cause conflicts, uh, either branching and merging our own changes or uh, working with other developers. So we'll commit this change anyway. New column plus metadata. We'll commit that. So now uh, let's turn Swiper on. To turn Swiper on, we do it for each project that we choose to do it for. So we'll do it for this project by right clicking, choosing Swiper, add Swiper. So now Swiper is enabled, and Swiper will, will run whenever this uh, these design elements are exported to the disk. So to trigger it again, we would do a save. Um, so let's just save it uh, again. We'll just make a small change uh, so we can save it. So this time it should uh, filter our view on the way out. And if we go to inspect it on the disk, uh, we can see the old sort of format is being removed and it's replacing it with a new uh, filtered and indented uh, format of the view. So we can see it's missing uh, things like the uh, note info and created modified revised tags which would cause us problems and uh, it's cut it down to a more simplified, simplified version of the view. So let's commit that one. So we'll call this the filtered view. And from now on if we're to make changes to this view we should just see what those changes are. So let's put a new column at the front, give it a title, first call, and then maybe we'll give the new title to the third column. Uh, let's tick that and let's save this view. So hopefully the changes we see in this view will just be the changes we made. So we can see there's one change there for the new column and one change for the new title. So these could be staged individually and um, say imagine that two different people made these changes, maybe this on one branch and this on another. These could be safely merged without the need to solve any merge conflicts. Uh, for elements like these old views, uh, so the classic design elements, um, all the meta metadata is within the same file, but for the newer elements uh, like the X page, if we're to do an X page, uh, hello world, um, you, this is actually exported as two files, if we're to go to the disk to see what's out there. Home is just as you expect, the .xsp, it's the actual .metadata file which is being filtered um, and if that wasn't filtered you'd see a lot more info in there which will also cause conflicts and um, you'll see this also on um, other files like image resources they have this um, accompanying .metadata file which is uh, also filtered um, also things like the icon note should be filtered, that hasn't updated since we've 
enabled swiper yet so but if we were to update something like the about document this should um, also appear as filtered uh, if we find this in the view here somewhere I'm not using about so you can see it's following the indented and filtered structure uh, the swiper is configured to run whenever the export takes place if you need to deliberately run the filter you can right click and say swiper filter selected I um, hope that could be seen there um, it doesn't work the right click menu doesn't work for them. this middle section it has to be over on the left uh, to turn swiper off simply go to swiper and remove swiper and uh, there are some preferences that can be set per as a global one you can supply a different uh, filtering file which is a bit more advanced but if you want to you can put one in there and these are two compatibility settings um, to, to do with if you previously used Dora um, but that will be referenced in the readme uh, additionally on those preferences they can be project specific so if you right click um, project properties and click swiper you get the option to say use project settings so you can supply a specific filter for that one project um, or set these for that particular project or you can go back to use the global settings for the whole workspace um, yeah so that's how you could possibly use a custom filter um, for an existing uh, database anyway let me know how you go this is um, ongoing so if there's any bugs we can fix them up hopefully and uh, hopefully this will enable you and your team to collaborate um, on the same project with less frustration of merge conflicts. Okay, bye.